Former presidential candidate Congressman Ron Paul says it is impossible for spending, printing, and borrowing money to get America out of the current economic crisis. He also says these actions prolong the Great Depression. Congressman Paul made his comments during a CNSNews.com interview after his speech at the Conservative Political Action Conference. If a stimulus package shouldn't have been passed and a financial bailout shouldn't have been passed, what is the alternative? Don't we need some sort of regulation to get this economy rolling again? Well, yeah, we have to regulate the Federal Reserve so they don't continue to do the same mistakes, print money and uh, regulate the Congress so they don't spend money they don't have and quit borrowing and lower taxes, balance the budget enough and actually reduce your deficit, and reduce your spending. So there's a lot we could do if we believed and understood what freedom was all about. But you'd have to change the nature of government. You'd have to change our foreign policy. You'd have to change the fact that people believe we're supposed to take care of everybody from cradle to grave. So there's a lot we could do, but the people aren't ready for it. So they're going to destroy the country. In the meantime, pretending that if you just spend and print and borrow, that you can uh, get yourself worked out of this, and it's impossible. And they're just going to make things much worse. So, but the, the main thing, the main reason why the government should be doing regulating themselves in the Federal Reserve is that there's a lot of mistakes been made. It's built into the economy. There's too much debt and there's too much malinvestment. Too many houses and too much borrowing. They've done, they've done all the wrong things. And that has to be adjusted. The market has to adjust it. We have 19 million empty houses. To build more houses and to prop that up, you want the prices to go down. You don't want to prop the prices up. So they did this in the Depression. They tried to keep the thing together, and it just delayed the correction, and the, and the Depression lasted for 15 years. Nicholas Balsey, CNSNews.com, Washington.